Well, good morning, everybody. It's been a while. It's been, uh, been so long that the trees are green now. Anyway, we're going to go haul a load of sod today. I figured I'd take you along. I haven't done a video in a long time. Truck's been broke down, and I've been busy when it's not broke down, so I've been putting it off. But we're going to go about an hour away. Pick up a load of sod. I've never hauled sod before. I don't know what to expect really, but how hard could it be? Just rolls of grass. But uh, do that and then run over to Liberal, Kansas, which is about three and a half, four hour drive. But really about five in this, if we're going to be honest. But that's what we're doing today. So, yeah. See if it starts. Of course it's gonna start. No smoke or nothing. He's running good. Got all fixed up for the most part. We, uh, I say we, the shop. Put a new air compressor on it. Cause it's getting way too much oil in the air tank. New power steering pump, or slobbering oil everywhere. Um, and then I had a wheel seal that went out on the other side, on this back axle over there. And uh, I took that off to do the wheel seal, and I uh, pulled the hub off, and uh, the bearing fell apart in their hands when they pulled it out. So... They got to looking around and it ruined the spindle on that axle. So that was tough to find. That took a grand total of three weeks to get done. And naturally the guy that does our stubs was on vacation. So they had to outsource it and that took an extra week. But yeah, so that kind of got rid of a little vibration. I think that's what was causing my issue. But uh, yeah, got all that done. Should be good to go. I just took this truck out to Wyoming, picked up a load in Tulsa, and uh, went out to Wyoming. When was that? Monday I picked up that load, and today's third, you know, today's Friday. So just a few days ago. That was a good 800 mile trip. I did it in three days, so there's, I don't know, five, six hundred miles a day. Wasn't too hard at all. My house was right in the middle of the trip, so that worked out pretty good. Picked up a load, come back down to Wichita, hauled some hay yesterday, now we're going to go haul sod, so get these horses fed. They look hungry. You hungry over there? That dang donkey. Wife's got them little fly boots. It looks like a dork. Hello, kitty. Kitty had babies. They all look just about like her. And this one got in a fight with something. You know. One good and bad thing about driving an old truck, especially this one, is ain't nobody gonna steal it. Cause they can, I know they can hot wire it five different ways, cause I've done that. But you can't take the trailer. Because of this valve thing right here. This will leak air. until you do that and then your brakes will release but until you stick a screwdriver in that valve you ain't going nowhere I gotta get this this is a rental trailer I gotta get this thing in there to get inspected anyhow I'll probably have them switch that out but yeah if your truck's so rough like this one is nobody can steal it so 
you don't feel quite as bad when you stay at the hotel or something. The only thing they can really steal is straps and whatnot, but that's all right. Well, we're gonna take off here. I need to get a dang mount for this phone. That's the main reason I haven't done any videos, because I gotta hold the phone. And that ain't, that ain't a good idea. Unless you're on these old back roads or something. this air conditioner turned on here we got AC but it don't work no more I need to get it working it's been 90 95 degrees here crap that's hot humid too it ain't raining but it's humid it's kind of weird oh, it's tornado season so. that'd be part of that A bigger driveway. figure out what's rattling. I've said that before, it's somewhere somewhere in that area. And I can't reach it while I'm driving so it's kind of hard to find. One of them one of them old truck deals. It's rain last night, but I guess it missed us. Couldn't have missed by much. Just giant wall cloud. I even rolled my windows up and everything. You don't want to leave that thing open when it rains. It tends to rain inside when you do that.
I'm sure you would. We have about that much. Whatever that is. So we're out here at the sod farm and uh, getting loaded. Yesterday I noticed this fender was wet and it's really wet. This morning I was like, what the crap? It's got to be a fuel leak because that ain't oil. Ain't coming from nowhere. There's no leaks. I mean, it's relatively clean. It's not leaking. So I got to looking and I got this in a WD-40 and it's wet too and there's a little hole right there it's leaking down in here and through them holes blowing on my fender so I was kind of relieved <laughs> that it wasn't a fuel leak but yeah goofy little deal yeah nice thing about sod there's no dust a lot better than hay I guess we're gonna throw a strap across there and across there. I don't know, he's gonna show me how, but <clears throat> anyhow. A lot of nice grass, I'd like to have that in my yard. But I'm not ambitious enough to take care of grass, so we just cut our weeds. <laughs> yep, there's our load. 16 pounds of sod. Let's truck it on down the road here. Well, my old pull cord ain't pulling. Can't shut the truck off. This happened the other day. Got home and uh, yeah, didn't want to shut off. So, here's a fix that. Had to cut that cord because it is just stuck. I think it melted on the exhaust. But yeah, old truck stuff. Well, today's Sunday. I talked to you guys last Friday. Dropped off that load of sod. Wasn't anything too special, just kind of unloading the middle of the road. But uh, we're going to get reloaded with uh, some of these bales. There's a whole bunch of them. He's got them scattered everywhere. Just waiting on the tractor to show up, get loaded with some hay, and we're going to take that out to Liberal. we got three of these loads to get done. Did one Thursday, then did that sod Friday. Try and do two of them tomorrow, so show up first thing in the morning, come back, reload, do it again. Then reload Tuesday morning to do that. That will put me a little bit ahead of schedule. Hopefully, if it all, if everything goes as planned. But uh, yeah, that's that's what we're doing now. Just waiting on the tractor here. This guy I'm hauling hay for, it, <clears throat> he's a just a neighbor farmer, and uh, he does a lot of organic type stuff. He used to run some organic cattle that I hauled for the guy I used to work for before I had my own truck, and he does this uh, organic hay. Um, it's got to be certified by the state, weed free and all that good stuff. But this hay is going down to where they're doing some putting in a four lane road. So they got all the ground tore up and this isn't high quality hay, uh, per se. It's just, uh, weed free and heavy. So them guys use that to reseed the ground, use it to plant new grass along the highway. So that, that's what this deal's for. It works out pretty good. He's about 20 minutes from my house. And uh, pretty good to work for or work with. He's always ready to load whenever the heck I want to. And makes it pretty handy. It's nice working with neighbors that uh, want to work with you as well. Uh, he usually has a load, maybe two a week, something like that, going out west. And, and uh, yeah, pretty good, pretty good little gig. Just hay is just real tall. It, this isn't real heavy. This puts me like 65,000 pounds, so it's not a full load. 
but it catches wind. It pulls like a parachute, and it sucks down the fuel pretty good, but uh, it's just good steady work. I think he's over there. I don't know if you guys can see him. Somewhere over there, there's a tractor. He's getting his getting his forks put on. I think he puts up what do you say, five or six thousand bales a year. So that's a that's a pretty good amount of hay for a single guy operation. He's I don't think he's only got two or three tractors and just runs them all by himself. He runs them uh, Fent tractors. They're from Switzerland, I believe put together in Germany and so he, yeah he runs them foreign tractors he thinks they're better and I drove them for a while while there's broke down he give me a job for a while and uh, kind of like them it's got a clutch but I don't know what you use it for because it's all automatic you just drive it like an automatic car almost push the pedal down and it goes and push the brake and it stops here he comes now circle flat scoot it uh It'll go 35 mile an hour. It'll about scare you going down the highway. As far as tractors go, anyway. It's got suspension. It, it's a fancy deal. But anyway, here he comes. So I guess guess we'll get loaded here. Nice thing about this hay is it's a four foot bale. So they're typically they're five foot wide. Um, but these are skinny bales, so you can run at night with them if you want to and not have to worry about being oversized all the time. And we're loaded. We're all strapped down. Right. They sit pretty tall. I think it's, it's got to be at least 14 foot, give or take, six inches or so. But yeah, these, these buggers catch a lot of wind. But uh, it's good work. It's good steady work. So... Anyway, I think I'll quit this video here and uh, catch up with you later. Thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, we'll catch you later.